Hey y'all, uh, it's Casey here. And Kim. So today we're, basically it's back to school month and well, in Florida it is. Cause I know New York starts school in September. And Atlanta started like 50 years ago. Yeah, Atlanta started like two weeks ago. So mainly to my Florida peoples that may be watching this or other schools that probably start in the next September. week or so, or you know, Mine, September whatever. down the line. We have some back to school tips for you guys. It's just simple, easy to get through high school type tips. Or you can even take this to college with you if you want. You Very sure can. Helpful. Cause I know I did that. Like a lot of things that I did not do in high school, I took it with me because I'm not trying to fail. That I'm gonna start off with like my experience and I really, enjoyed my freshman year in high school i think that was my Who freshman and my senior year no because you know in, on tv they really kind of portray freshman year like oh you're gonna get picked on and this and that and that was i was really i know yes, my reasons why i loved my freshman year and that's probably just gonna stay between us but freshman year embrace it of course you're the bottom of the barrel. I mean, but, yeah, just like you were saying, in school, I mean, on television, you know, they make fun of you or whatever, but in high school, you'd probably be friends with these people. Like, you know, it don't matter. It's not It's not that deep. What you see on TV is not really Yo, that is really true, reality. because I, I did have upperclassmen friends, yeah. and it's not like I was, like, a super popular person. I wasn't, but... It's generally sometimes you're just mixed in with classes with people who are upperclassmen. And yep. if you can make friends with upperclassmen, yo, that's just going to make your freshman year even better because... But you'll be sad when they leave, though. And you're going to be sad when you leave, friends, but like... low-key, everybody else know you. Like, say if you're a freshman and you become friends with, like, a junior or a senior... Now the senior's gone, but, like, the junior know you, and then now you, you looking at the freshmen, it's like, you know... So I think is just really embrace it. Just know that you're not alone. It's a whole bunch. It's a hunt like over a hundred of you guys. Make friends. Ignore them if they do bully you guys. Be nice. Freshman year, I think you should start off good and keep that going because you will get talked about. So don't do that to yourself. Don't let. <laughs> just be good, okay? Don't do nothing your mother would not be proud of and you cannot do in church you know <laughs> because yeah you don't want to be looked at as that person okay be good you don't, don't want to yeah you don't want to be mean but then again some of the quote-unquote popular kids that went to our high school they were mean people mm -hmm. and who's popular like you know, we'll talk later but whatever I mean, they weren't popular, but they knew, we knew them because of the things they did, in that sense. You you want to be known for something good, not something bad, not like picking on a person and stuff like that. I was just, I was a chill person. I got along with about everybody, even if I didn't consider them friends. If I had a class with them, I know I'm be able to talk because I love to talk. So regardless, <laughs> I love to talk. I do. Um, so regardless in class, I'm gonna end up talking to somebody. I don't even care if we don't talk after class. While in class, you my, you my buddy, girl. Hey, how was your day? Yeah, things so, like that. Yeah. I mean, one of the things I think I really regret in high school is not taking my grades seriously early on. Start your fr as soon as you step foot. Please pay attention to your GPA, pay attention to your grades, everything. Please, please, because you will hate yourself for it and think, what was I doing? Like, let me tell y'all something. <sighs> please, don't let these boys get y'all attention. Because freshman year, that's what got me messed up. My freshman year, I was too focused on looking at these boys. You're going to see these seniors. You're going to see these juniors. You're going to be like, oh my god, they look so good. And you're going to want to try to be friends with them and all that stuff. That wasn't necessarily my case. My boy situation was actually in the ninth grade with me. And I got really distracted. 
but it was until he left. I and was, was like, it a distraction for you? Like a real, um, serious distraction? It wasn't like serious, serious distraction, but just know if he called me out of class, I, like, would okay, leave, bye. I would get out of class. Okay. And okay. that's what I mean by distraction. And you know, the high school that we went to, it wasn't a normal high school. It was a technical arts high school. So basically everyone had like different areas of focus and we had to wear a uniform. So if you go to a high school that wear a uniform, I would say like try to dress it up so you could be kind of fashionable. Don't just be You don't have James. to. You can you can of course, of course. But of course I was really worn with my uniform. I was too. I didn't have like the things, but you know, now get nowadays people focus on shoes and stuff like that. But I'm saying especially cuz you're in your like full out uniform. You're gonna want to kind of stand out just a little bit, try to dress it up, you know, and stuff. Especially if you're a person that don't really talk a lot to people, your style can be like stand your voice. You. Yeah, can stand out for you. So, we had uniform, we had different academies, and it was awkward a little bit. Awkward. Because especially if you're like coming from middle school with a whole bunch of friends and then they're all in a different academy oh, okay. you don't even have classes with them like that you gotta sit hopefully y'all have lunch together hopefully. and if y'all don't well you stuck like chuck and y'all just not going y'all gonna end up not being friends no more mark my words so i mean okay i mean yeah and no it de yeah yes yeah, or no. no it depends how strong y'all friendship was yeah and like us, we only had two two or three classes freshman year. After that, we didn't have lunch together. We didn't have any classes together. But 50 years after, here we are. Yo, we didn't have lunch together either. After freshman year. I don't know if freshman year we did, but after that, no. And we remained Freshman friends. year, yes. I don't know. I don't even know. I know for sure we had science together. What other class that we had together? I don't think we had any other class together. I think that was the only class that we had together. Whatever, but we're here now. One class, freshman year, seven years later, and we're still tight. And it's crazy because we're going through our yearbook, and I was really trying to think how the hell we remained our friendship because there's some people that I was super close to, ninth grade, tenth grade. We had all class together. I don't even speak to them. I don't know how they're doing. I don't know if they're alive, and I hope they are, because I'm not trying to wish death on anybody. But it just, it is what it is. I mean, do not go in high school thinking the 18 friends y'all had together. First day of school. You're all gonna be last day clothes, of and you're gonna you're going to notice at least by sophomore year that your 18 just became nine. Your junior year, your nine just became five. In your senior year, you're hopefully lucky like that that five remain, yeah. and it's probably just gonna be three or four or close one. friends, and your friends that you were supposed to be BFFs to the day y'all die is probably with somebody that they're best friends with somebody you probably really hate so i mean don't get offended that never happened to me though they'll cause drama thank god my best friends are still my best friends and you know if you really fight for that friendship good i mean i didn't have to fight for my friendship but i will say yeah i'm not gonna be like buddy buddy loving on each other because i actually had a falling out with one of my best friends during our senior year and are with, you guys friends now yes great so it doesn't matter and and with my cousin mm -hmm. but she's my cousin so eventually we was just gonna end up talking to each other again but just just to show you if y'all real friends y'all gonna come back better than ever after y'all fall now but be very aware high school is it's just high school, man. It's just... Enjoy it, you know? Um, you should go yeah. to your activities, whatever. Especially your senior year. Go to your activities if you have the funds. Or save. Some people had jobs. You know, don't know what to do for a living. But, you know, try to go. Enjoy it. Because you'll probably look back and be like, Yeah, why did I not go? 
Listen, learn from me, okay? Learn from me. I'm the total opposite of her. I did absolutely nothing my senior year. I probably, the only thing I went to was grad weekend and I had to work my behind off, not physically like working as a job. I had to prove my grades and all this stuff to get my parents to pay for that um, grad weekend because I think that crap was like $300 and nobody just have $300 out of their <laughs> pockets like that unless you're a rich child. I had to prove that this was a trip that I was going to and I had strict parents. It was grad weekend so we had, it was like staying over a night. My family don't even play with like sleeping over people houses. Down the so, street. So exactly down the street that I may known for like years. And for me to go to my mom and tell her, oh, our school is going to Orlando this weekend and we're going to come leave this day, come back Sunday. She was looking at me like, what? That wasn't, that was just, listen, that was the only thing I did. I did nothing senior year. I didn't do anything freshman, sophomore. Take I didn't advantage. go to the trip freshman year, but other than that, the other years, I, I didn't do anything either take look yo really take advantage of your high school years like enjoy it because you just it's just nice to have memories yo i don't even own a yearbook i had to go to her house in the yearbook though? i'm not even in the yearbook that's what kills me like learn from my mistakes i'm she not even had, like, in the yearbook side profile you don't even so see my face so it's like nobody if people i didn't talk to in high school and they like i went to high school with you they'll be like girl no you didn't you're not in this year book like she was you not in the i was i was not in the i think i'm in the freshman one but i think that picture is like so horrible because i didn't even want to smile when they gave that picture when i when they took that picture so whoever has that freshman year book i apologize for how i look me too i don't know what happened I don't know what it looked like. Oh. Besides that freshman picture, I'm not in a I'm sophomore, I'm not in a junior, and I'm definitely not in a senior year book. I'm You're just, not? I'm not in any of them. I'm what? only in the freshman one. Because 10th grade, you remember I was telling you, they, they, I asked them, do I have to take like the and picture? They said it's not mandatory for you to take a picture. Because they always came on a day when I was not looking my best always came on the day mm. and i just opted out I was like no i'm not taking the pictures and you know senior pictures you gotta pay for that junk so you gotta look <laughs> crisp and prosper and I'm prosper proper and you know you gotta look proper. good for your senior picture listen i was not even in miami to take these doggone pictures i was in haiti I, it was just there was no hope for me and when school started i think you still had like a chance like to think it but i had to buy a uniform so I had no money to pay no. Listen, save. If your parents give you money, save it. Just in case. Just save that doggone money. Don't be wasting your money on like Jordans that come out. The same exact Jordans that come out yearly and stuff. Don't be wasting your money on that. Because you're going to want to go on these trips. And especially because if you have strict parents that probably have financial problems and stuff listen or get a job because my cousin i love her for that she was on a grind she was making sure she went to everything her behind went to work all the time and yeah. she i freaking love her because her behind will come home come home from work at like midnight wake up school early in the morning and she was still getting good grades she went to every event she made it her her oh i love her for that she made sure she enjoyed Listen, like I said, learn from my mistakes. I already told you. We already told you. Work on your GPA. That's first. And work along your with your SAT and ACT scores, you should work on that. I think you could, well, we started junior year and senior year. If I'm not mistaken, if you do well your junior year, you probably don't have to take it over senior year. So please pay attention to that. Pay attention to your grades, your GPA. Um, you take it serious and right. please start early from your freshman year because I really didn't start paying attention till junior year and I was too late for me. I was, was thinking what was I doing all this time. So please pay attention to that. Enjoy yourself. Make memories, you know, save up of course. Yeah. Join clubs. 
if you're school, for if, you. you're, yeah. if you're if you're an actual high school, because I still don't even consider our high school a real high school. Hell, we didn't even we didn't have no sports, no bands. We didn't even have well, a homecoming. What okay. kind of high school we go? Well, it was to? called something else. Courtney, I do not know okay, that. Listen. We didn't go to no real high school, so we listen. Went to a fake high school. So we went to a fake high school. school. It was a fake high but school. But I'm here though. Listen, listen. I love it. If but you're still. in a high school like this, I'm sure you can go to your homeschool events or whatever they have there. You're able to join. So if you really want to do those things, go to your homeschool. You should be okay. What she said. Fake high school. Listen to this, but I graduated though. My diploma. Listen, now. it's. <laughs> it was. I just sometimes I really love our school. I do because it was like this. We were like a little family compared to like the other high schools that were like high schools, high schools. Like <laughs> Are you killing me. It's like they had like the football games, the band, the basketball. If we wanted to go to that, we would have to go to our home school. And you know, all of us, none of us went to like the same home schools. Mine was a school called North Miami. People have another one called Miami Central. Some had Miami Northwestern. Some probably didn't even, was not even in the Miami Day district. And it's like coming to our school. So we was like a little family, but it wasn't like a high school, high school. It was just a high school. It had the name high school attached to it. Whatever. So, anyways. <laughs> yeah, that. Well, and um, you should get along with your teachers. I mean, I understand there are some people out there that. So, but other than that, you really should get along with your teachers. They probably will save you when you get that F. Or, you know. No. Or if you're like a class clown and you always getting in trouble with teachers, be friends with the administrators because, yo, they <laughs> always going to help you out. They always going to help you out. Like, not saying that I was a bad student. <laughs> I just, you know, listen, I hung out in the office a lot. For that's good reason. Because she go to no activities no. because she's being bad. In Lies. School. That's a lie. I hung out in the office a lot because listen you need to make you need to make friends with them like with the assistant principal or stuff or people that can override things for you or i just thought about this cafeteria food no. listen, <laughs> cafeteria listen at our school be nice please i know sometimes some people can be nasty and as well as um administrator too we had a couple of those they shouldn't be working period for schools but it's okay just be nice yeah be nice to these cafeteria be nice. ladies because at our school they had like the regular lunch food but then they had like a section when they're less like you pay for food like chicken wings pizza like the real good stuff or whatever listen me being a broke betty I had to become friends with them because they let me slide so much. Oh my god. I had to pay them back, but I paid them back on my own terms. I fell in love with Snickers ice cream bars because they stayed giving them to me. Or I like grab me a plate of chicken, not even asking them yet. And I'll just like give them like a puppy dog look and they be like, go ahead girl, go ahead, get your food. And I'll be like, thank you. And you know. Be, be nice to these ladies because if you have if you go to a school when they have like a different section separate from like the school food they supposed to give you and like the food that you pay for you better be friends with those ladies because they got your back you just gotta be friends with these adults and yeah. I guarantee you, you're gonna nice. go far you're going yeah. to go far yep yep and lastly don't compare yourself to other people um, if you need assistance in anything any subjects just ask for it. It'll help you in the long run. For sure. For sure. I wish I would have got some help, man. Because, some like I said, it's... Not a crack problem. <laughs> Shut up. Because <laughs> it's like, my last, like, if you guys listened to the last podcast, my dream school is Spelman College. And it's always going to be my dream school, even though I don't go there. And I just... I swear, if I would have just worked harder from my freshman year, 
been friends with like these teachers that could have probably gave me great recommendations because you know they network yep. around and, and stuff some of like them, that of course, went to, uh, like some of them went to like hbcus yep. and stuff like that i could have got like great recommendations even if i didn't specifically go to spelman i could have went to another great school and it's just like when i sit there the other day i was looking at my report cards i was like i was just shaking my head at myself because i was so focused on you know just being friends and skipping class and not you know doing what i needed to do and it's just like if you have a dream college that you want to go to work hard from, from your work freshman hard year. from the yeah. freshman and year. you that's another thing you should plan out things to see what you want to do with yourself after high school i think that would be better so you can um yeah. work accordingly to because whatever yeah because I understand that college really isn't for everybody it put they put it into our heads from kindergarten that you have to go to college and stuff like that and me I'm very big on education but you don't you don't only get educated by going to college so if you feel like college is not necessarily like your career path I would say try it out for a year and if it's just yeah. not for you then as long as you do something that's going to yeah. benefit you and it's helping you out and stuff like that because I know a lot of people that's not even working off their degrees and they're very successful so do whatever floats your boat man have fun work hard and just enjoy enjoy your high school years and if you a person that gets bullied I apologize I I I don't even know what advice to give you because I wasn't necessarily bullied I mean I, I wouldn't don't let it tear you down man yeah that's all pray yeah that's all I can say man pray if you getting bullied girl or guy right. just guy. know the almost half I'm gonna say half Half the people that be, that that are bullied in high school become like one of the most successful the people, people and the people that bullied you are probably going to be like bums and stuff like that. Maybe working the reason for you I said the reason I said half is because I've been watching Criminal Minds lately. Let me tell you. Okay. Those people that be getting bullied, they be the ones that be coming back trying to kill everybody that bullied them. Yeah. Thank God I ain't never bully nobody. Be so. nice to everybody, please. Be nice. If you're annoyed by someone, just you know, move Brush away a little bit. Off. No, I'm talking about. Okay, you know what? It's over. See you guys later, okay? <laughs> Bye. Enjoy your high school year. And if you're watching this and you're like 10th grade, still work hard. Please work hard. Because let me tell you another thing. I'm snow, like for real. I learned this like going into like freshman year college. Mm -hmm. You could be like, you could have like a four. Your GPA in college changes by semester. Mm -hmm. So when i think in high school for us i think it changes yearly a f weighs so heavily on your gpa you could have like that one f and get like a's the rest of like the turn and you're still not going to get the gpa back that you really wanted because of that one f i'm sure so, i see adia do the same thing so just work hard please. really work hard like please. avoid getting d's and f's I may have played around, but I, I know to never bring a DF to my mama house because <laughs> that just wasn't going to happen. I had a couple of them, though. Sorry. Don't That's do that. That's for another day. Do not get no D's and F's. Enjoy!